What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Lions video. Now Halapaloi, Vitae Vitae, as well as Tyrell Crosby both had some starting time on the Lions offensive line in 2020 and both of them were definitely parts of the offensive line and both of them helped contribute to the success that the offensive line saw a season ago. However, they were not good enough to be full-time starters and they weren't good enough to really assure Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell that they were the future of the position. As a result, in the 2021 NFL Draft, with the seventh overall pick, the Lions elected to select Panay Sewell, the offensive tackle out of Oregon, to take on that right tackle position and be the lockdown surefire right tackle to help complete the Lions offensive line. Now, with of course that being the case, that only leaves one open spot on the offensive line for an offensive lineman, either being Tyrell Crosby or Big V. Now, as of right now, Big V is being penciled in as that starting right guard position, and he's being penciled in as the starter for week one. However, I think there is an untold battle. I think there is a battle, a position battle in the Lions organization that isn't really being talked about, and that is the position battle at right guard between Big V and Tyrell Crosby. Both of them have different strengths and different weaknesses that could both give them the edge over one another for that starting spot, and I think throughout the preseason and throughout training camp, you are going to see this battle take place. Now, before we get into talking about this position battle, before we get into talking about Tyrell Crosby versus Halapaloi Vitae Vitae, and who will start at the right guard position for week one, if you are new to the channel and you are enjoying the content, please consider liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. It takes just two seconds out of you to do so. It is quick, it is free, and it is very easy to do, and you would be helping the channel out more than you could possibly know. So if you could do that, take those two seconds to like and subscribe. I would be very appreciative for it. With all of that being said, without any further ado, let's get right into talking about Big V versus Tyrell Crosby and who will take that starting right guard spot in the final starting position on the offensive line. So we're getting Anthony Ryder from South Lyon, Michigan, recently selected as the Lions 2020 Fan of the Year. He has a passion about sports broadcasting. With the 112th selection in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Amon Ross St. Brown, wide receiver, USC! One cry, baby! Now, Tyrell Crosby and Big V have two very different stories of how they came to be on the Detroit Lions. Tyrell Crosby is a player that is going into his fourth year of NFL play, being drafted out of Oregon in the fifth round, and being a player that has been here and been in the system for many, many years. However, Big V is a player that was brought in as a big-time free agent acquisition just an offseason ago, was paid a lot of money to come in and solidify the right tackle position and be a player that really solidified the offensive line line for the Detroit Lions, and unfortunately, that did not end up happening. Big V a season ago played in 450 snaps for the Detroit Lions, having just one penalty committed, which is really, really solid. However, he did allow six sacks in just 10 games, and again, just 450 offensive snaps, whereas Tyrell Crosby a season ago actually started and played more than Big V, playing in 657 snaps, so almost or over 100 more snaps than Big V, committing three penalties, which which is a few more, a little bit, you know, I guess not great, a little bit discouraging, I guess, from the starting right tackle, but in 100 more snaps, he did allow one less sack, and that was while playing and starting against players of the top tier in the NFL. Tyrell Crosby started games against Khalil Mack a season ago, started games against Cardell Jones, Cam Jordan of the Saints, Chase Young of the Washington football team, Brian Burns, and J.J. Watt, all at different times throughout the season season and did play full games against each and every one of those premier pass rushers. So to say that he played 100 more snaps against that elite talent and only gave up five sacks and three penalties truly isn't that bad of a performance. That means he shut out at least two of those pass rushers in those games. Obviously, they weren't against him the entire time, but that does mean at some point he did shut out two of those premier pass rushers in the NFL and had a really solid season last year for a player that was kind of thrust into a start 
starting role very late into the offseason and very late into the preseason process. He was a player that was not looked at as a guy that was going to start for a lot of the Lions games this season, but as a player that stepped up when he needed to, was stepped up when his number was called, and actually, for the circumstance, played a really, really solid. Now, Tyrell Crosby is also a player just like Big V that does have the versatility and does have a little bit of experience playing at the right guard position. However, I do believe Big V has a little bit more experience in that department playing at right guard as he did play it a season ago where Tyrell Crosby did not, and he has played it in other positions before in Philadelphia, whereas, again, Tyrell Crosby has not played the right guard position as much as Big V. Now, of course, Big V and Tyrell Crosby both have their strength as football players. They both have things about their games that could potentially one-up the other and potentially secure them that starting spot. Starting with Halapaloi Vitae Vitae, Big V's biggest strengths and biggest, you know, I guess, biggest advantages over Tyrell Crosby are going to be his size, his strength, and his run-blocking power. Big V is a big player, as you could tell. He stands at six foot six, 320 pounds, and put up at his pro day 23 reps on the bench press. Now, Big V was selected in the fifth round of his respective NFL draft, just like Tyrell Crosby. But coming out of college, they were both very different prospects. Again, Big V was kind of looked at as this high potential, very athletic, big, strong, powerful run blocker that's going to push people off their marks and eventually could develop into a full-time pass protector and a full-time tackle if he does get his pass protection right and does improve tremendously on his pass protection ability. Whereas Tyrell Crosby came out looking a little bit more proven a little bit, you know, more tested. And he, again, was a much better pass protector and was, you know, a lot more refined in his techniques when it came to pass protection and just pass blocking in general. Now, that is really where that is really where Tyrell Crosby's strengths lie, right? His biggest strengths right now and his biggest advantages in regards to earning the right guard spot is going to be he was more battle tested a season ago, played more snaps, played against better, played against better positions, played against better pass rushers, and put up better statistics than Big V while playing more time than the starting right guard. How, and of course, I believe his pass protection is much better. He pass protects much better, obviously, as you can tell from the stats. And just watching him on tape, he is much more refined in his technique. And although he may not be as strong or as powerful as Big V, his pass protection and his techniques against those pass rushers is far cleaner. And he does get beat far less often than the starting right guard in a Big V a season ago. Now, Terrell Crosby, although he is not as big as Halapaloi Vitae Vitae, he is still really good size for the guard position. Standing at six foot four, 310 pounds, putting up 17 reps at the NFL Combine when he was coming out of his draft class, Tyrell Crosby has held his own a lot throughout the NFL career, a lot throughout his NFL career, Tyrell Crosby has been thrown in in different positions, kind of last minute, most of the time, is thrown in and said, you are going to start today, we have this injury, somebody else is not going to play, you have to step up and be the guy, and more times than not, Tyrell Crosby has stepped up to the occasion, has stepped up to the plate when his number was called, and played incredibly well when he was asked to do so. You know, and if Tyrell Crosby can hold his own in pass protection versus the likes of J.J. Watt, Brian Burns, Chase Young, Cam Jordan, Khalil Mack, and Cardell Jones, why couldn't he hold his own in pass protection versus some of the interior defensive linemen players that are lesser known for their pass rushing ability and more so known for their run stuffing ability or their ability to really push players or get penetration in the backfield, but not give up the sack, right? Not get the big flashy sack numbers unless your name is Aaron Donald. You know, unless you are Aaron Donald, interior defensive linemen are usually lesser pass rushers and more better run defenders. And just because Big V might have the advantage at run blocking just because he might be a more powerful run blocker doesn't mean that Tyrell Crosby can't run block in his own right. Tyrell Crosby had many reps a season ago in run blocking where he was pushing players off the line. He was looking bigger, faster, stronger than a lot of other players and really held his own in run blocking while excelling in pass protection. So with that being the case, I do think Tyrell Crosby can step in and be a player that is not only good at pass protecting, but also is at least average at run blocking 
blocking and opening up holes in the interior defensive line for Jamal Williams, DeAndre Swift, and Jamar Jefferson, respectively. Honestly, I think that this battle is much closer than a lot of people are going to initially believe. Now, when you look at the scheme and the way that Brad, or when you look at the scheme and how Dan Campbell and Anthony Lynn are talking about building this team and scheming this offense, it does seem like the Lions are going to be a very run-heavy team, which initially would have you kind of lean towards Big V. Big V's play style kind of relies more on being bigger, you know, being stronger, being meaner, and kind of having that element of football that they're just going to overpower you and outmuscle you for four quarters and 60 minutes. That right there kind of leans towards Big V a little bit. However, again, Tyrell Crosby is not a bad run blocker, even though he is a much better pass protector. And Tyrell Crosby, to me, is a better all-around player. Tyrell Crosby is a decent run blocker and a good pass protector, whereas Big V is a really good run blocker, but kind of a subpar pass protector, if that makes sense. So I believe you're going to see both of them split time this year at their respective positions. I think you are going to see them split time in the preseason with the first team at the right guard. I think some I, some series, you're going to see Big V. Some series, you're going to see Tyrell Crosby. And I think you're going to kind of see a rotation in the preseason until the Lions really truly figure out who their starting guy is going to be. But regardless of who wins this, regardless of who takes snaps first and who takes snaps seconds, I do believe that this battle, this position battle for right guard is closer than a lot of people think. And although initially looking at the scheme and looking at the advantages and strengths, you may initially give this role to Big V. I think Crosby is going to make a case for himself. Throughout his NFL career, Tyrell Crosby has changed positions. He has gone from left to right and right back to left. He has played outside. He has played inside and has done everything in his power to get on the field and play at the best of his ability and help this football team win. And I don't believe that this is going to change in the offseason. I believe Tyrell Crosby is the same player that has gone from left tackle to right tackle, left tackle to left guard, obviously left guard to right tackle yet again, and has kind of moved back and forth across that offensive line since he's entered the NFL. He's done everything in his power to get on the field, and when he's been on the field, he actually hasn't been that poor of a player, considering he was selected in the fifth round. Now, with all that being said, that is all I have for you guys today. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this battle. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think has the advantage? What player do you think is better at what aspect of the offensive line? And what player do you think truly fits in the offensive line the best? I'd be very curious to hear what you guys think about this opinion. Personally, I would prefer Tyrell Crosby, although I think Big V, again, is going to not give up his position very easily and is going to battle very hard to really show his run blocking capabilities and hopefully progress as a pass protector as well. But with all that being said, that is life for you guys today. Again, let me know what you guys think about this battle down in the comments below. But with all that being said, that is life for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, and as always, go Lions.